But I tell you, I've never been more proud of our industry. We had about 500 people at a rally to protest the alcohol tax. Uh, we had a little uh, bourbon Boston Tea Party where we poured some bottles on the steps to show our protest. And we came within a few votes of, of beating back a bill that was being supported and, and pushed by not only the governor, but the Speaker of the House and the Senate President. Very powerful figures in Frankfurt. It's hard. We knew we had an uphill battle and we're disappointed in the outcome, but I couldn't be more proud of our industry. Did it end up being a little bit better as far as the percentage that we thought it would be? Well, initially we were really concerned about the wholesale increase they were talking from 11% to 20%. That 9% increase really would have crippled the industry. I mean, that's almost that's an 82% increase in, in your tax structure. So we ended up with a 6% sales tax, which the unfortunate thing about that is it's already being collected in the wholesale level. So this is a tax upon a tax. Uh, the good thing that comes out of this is uh, both that we've heard from the, the Senate and the House, they're going to look at comprehensive tax reform, and as part of that, maybe we can get them to reduce the wholesale tax to offset that 6% sales tax so it's not double taxation, make us more competitive with other states and in the country. There was a lot of talk about a sunset, but we know that a lot of time the sun usually doesn't set in Frankfurt. You know, once you get a tax on the books, it's very hard to take off. Um, I think we'll be more successful if we talk to and work with the legislature during their comprehensive tax reform to make a more fair and streamlined alcohol tax for everybody, not just bourbon, but beer, wine, and everybody. Good job you this week. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for chatting with me. We invite you to watch some more videos on bourbonblog.com. We only encourage responsible and legal drinking. Never drink and drive.